we could do some more industrial, it says. So let's do that. Sort of path here, a uh, uh, road here, sorry. And we're all the way back up to here. Sorry, it looks ugly, but like I said, this is only temporary. We just do this for now and then eventually we'll expand out, just to put the industrial somewhere else. But like I said, this will all be abandoned soon, trust me. I'll guarantee you, I'll put £100 on it, this will all be abandoned soon because once people start getting educated, they want to work in like commercials because they commercial upgrades, so they, they need educated people to work there, and they'll all start working in the commercial rather than at the industrial. So that will be a thing that will happen, that's fine. We do need some more commercial thing while we're talking about it, so just fill up this area here. That's where the main shopping area is going to be, and we'll put like a little shopping bit at the back here. Right. So we still need to get our population up a little bit more. So the next target is a thousand. Um, we get districts there, we get policies, um, all the fire departments, things like that. So what I normally do as well, we do have access to taxes. I always put the taxes up to 10% at the start. It just gives you that extra bit of money boost to help you out with your town. So you see now we're in the positive. We'll probably stay in the positive now for the rest of the game. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my name to it and say we'll stay in the positive for the rest of the game. Um, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna just lose it instantly now, and I we'll see. Okay, so uh, I don't want that there. Do it out here a bit more instead. So start going to some more roads, like so, for more housing. Houses are a much needed thing in a village or a town. So let us throw these down because we've got that's our highest demand at the minute. You can see our highest demand is housing. So yeah, I need names. I'll uh, say it now so that then they're ready for when you, you guys watch the video. I need names for districts. I'm going to start putting districts down for different areas and I want you guys to name them because I think that'd be funny or just a bad idea. <laughs> um, yeah, so once I get unlocked districts, I'll start putting districts down for this like, little town and uh, you guys can name it for me. I think it would be a good idea. Okay. So, I want to, like I said, I want to save some places for parks and things. We are going to need those. Um, we could put a pharmacy down, but I think it's our health, average health is 5%. No one's dying or getting really ill yet. There's no real reason for anyone to get ill. It's not like the houses all next to the industrial bit. You can already see, like they're all filled up. FedEx or fed up. I do have a FedEx prop, <laughs> which we can put down eventually. Um, I've got literally everything you can think of as a prop. So you see here that like, all the people have to walk down here. Like you see, they probably walk all the way up here, all the way down to go back to here. So you actually have paths coming down, to make things a little bit easier, like bike paths and things. Um, so that people get around a lot easier. Be nice. But yeah, we're in the positive now. It's looking good. So. I'm going to leave it for a bit, let our money build up, let our population build up, let these houses upgrade because they should be starting to upgrade now maybe. Hello? None of you upgrading yet? Doesn't look like it. I think we might need a high school before they actually start upgrading. Let's have a look. Is this actually a high school? Is this high school? But is it? Because I haven't unlocked... Oh no, that's university. But yeah, I haven't actually unlocked the high school. So does this actually give me money, uh, give me education for people in high school? I don't know. Same price. Mm, I think it probably is. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, let's, let's wait a bit then and see our city grow. Okay, our population's hit a bit of a brick wall, so I'm going to have to um, do some more housing. Um, yeah, we need to get up to 1,000 for the next milestone. So... We are going to have to build some more housing. Now, how am I going to build some more housing? That's a great question, Joe. There you go. Some there. Little neighbourhood there would be nice. Next to the school. Um, we need some more going up, I think. We've got loads going to the left, so let's do ones like this. No, nope, that's ugly as hell. Aha, we can do it off the edge here. So we can go along like this. Whoops. Oh, I did it wrong again. Come on, game. It's two over on two. There we go. 
I can fit another one on here. Yeah. Great. Oh, plumbed in, kind of. There we go. I do. Okay, let's get all the housing in here. This would be good. Let's unpause it so we can keep getting money. Okay, there we go. We've got loads of population. We should reach the thousand mark down quite easily. We still need some more industry. We've got loads of industry though. Like, this is all going to go to waste. We're going to have to delete all this eventually. Oh, fine. Okay, so there we go. We've unlocked a bunch more stuff now. Which is good. We just need to unlock parks. Once we unlock, unlock parks, we can start really making this place look nice. It's just the basic foundation of it. Eventually, we can build the trees, like I said, we can build the parks, we can build the football stadium, the car parks. Um, when I say football, I mean soccer for you American guys over there. The football is in real football. We kick the ball with your feet. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get this industrial up. Look, everyone's working at industrial, man. That's fine. Speed things up a bit. Okay. So all this housing's going in. It's looking nice. It's nice little streets here for the houses. But yeah, like I said, these do upgrade. They upgrade quite nicely. They have all like solar panels on them. You can see now, they're starting to get educated people in them. This one's got one, this one's got three. And uh, that's when they should start to go. This one's starting to go up now. Um, and like I said, we need parks. We can't unlock parks. They're not going to upgrade massively at the moment. Um, it's just because this one's got loads of educated people in. Oh, it's got one. But yeah, they start to slowly upgrade. But once we start getting parks in, they'll upgrade like quick as anything. Um, I still need more industrial. Come on, look how much industrial we got. Wow. Okay, that's fine. So what can we build now? So we're going to need a fire station. I've got this one here. The fire department is uh, medium. It looks really nice. It's very expensive though. Um, that's compared to this one. This one's more expensive to maintain. 960 um, a, a week. And this one's only 560. So we could build this one eventually. I do like this one. It looks really nice. You can't really see it. I mean, you can see it there in the picture. It's like a proper real fire station. It looks really cool. Um, and it fits like perfectly in some of these places. Um, so I think... We'll just have to build one of these. Now, I don't know where I'm going to put all of the uh, services. Maybe, I want to have them like, somewhere in the middle so they can get to this main road quickly. So maybe get to the industrial in time. So maybe this area here should be four police stations and five stations. We need like, a police station more importantly by the looks of it. Okay, so we've got this one here. This is the one that's a mod one. Let's just throw this one on the corner here, sod it. So you can see now, we've got this nice little police station. It's a custom one off the Steam Workshop. Every all these places going out. There's so much crime in my city. Look at them all. The rest of all these people. Look, all this crime. Crime rate is high. Not anymore. The police are here. Yay. Okay, so what time is it? So it's getting to the evening now. Everyone will be finishing school and um, finishing work and stuff. Going home. You can see the road starts to die down the later it gets. Which is just, which is great at night time. It's usually empty, so it's good. Okay, so where's our next population milestone? Let's have a look. It's at 1,500. And we get the high school. We get parks. Yeah, that's what we need: parks and decoration and level two unique buildings. So I've got tons of unique buildings we can build. Um, I've got the twin towers. <laughs> um, I've got this building here. Just an office building, which is really nice, which I'm going to put in the office area eventually. Um, I don't think they actually do much. I think they just count as like a visitor place. You know, like when you plant down um, the park, and it just gets visitors, like three visitors a week. That's all these do. These are really only for like looks. They don't actually do much. I think <laughs> they get the old tourist attraction. That's about it. I can't see. But I've got loads of stuff throughout all of these that I've uh, got as mods, which I'll show you eventually. Um, but as of now, we need a fire station because this house over there is on fire and we can't afford one. Um, so I think we'll put it next to the fire station. Uh, the police station, sorry. Put it here, sod it. There you go. So then they run next to each other now. And maybe we should have the pharmacy like on the corner somewhere. Maybe we should have the pharmacy here in this corner because for some reason nothing's there. So what we could do is have this there, like that. That'd be perfect. We don't need to at the minute though. Ah, sorry, it's only 100 a week. There you go. I'm only getting a bit low now though, per week. 
It's fine. I hate upgrading. That's an upgrading noise. See, the houses aren't to upgrade. There you go. That dinging noise. Every time you hear that dinging noise, you hear it a lot throughout the game. It just means people upgrade. See, now more people live here. Uh, more educated people live here. Um, it just gives you a big, bigger population as well. Um, so yeah, they should all start to be upgraded now. Yeah, they are. They've all got police services. They're, they're very happy with their town. And all sounds upgrade. I like hearing that dinging noise. I want to hear it again. There you go. This one up here. Ding! New house. It's upgrading. Let's watch it. Wow, it got smaller. <laughs> Good upgrade. It's not nice sort of house. See now, four adults here and two children, and four of them are educated. So we've got the teens and the children that are educated, and the adults aren't because they never went to school. The school wasn't there when they were kids. So yeah, this is a nice little custom pharmacy I've got from the Steam Workshop. It's really nice on the corner. I think it's, it's a good little place here for all the, uh, the police station and the fire station. And this does take out ambulances. It does have ambulances that do go out. But I think health isn't an issue in our town at the minute. You see the average health is pretty high. So we don't have to really worry about that at the minute. Um, there's nothing to really give out people bad health. Looking nice though. Let's get a nice little town set up. It's looking good. So these people going to the commercial zone. Like I said, we need to need to get transport set up. Be nice. Okay, so next on the list, I think it's just trying to get to this next milestone, which is when we can start doing more stuff. So we need just an, oh, we're going to have some more houses. Um, <laughs> right in our room. Tell you what, let's build up here. So we're gonna probably have to move some of this. We don't need all of this, uh, all these pylons. We can go to here, like this, and then we can get rid of all of this. There you go. So now we can build another road. Yay! Do that, and we'll build another one over to here. There we go. So this is just going to be a long road of houses. Okay, there we go. Put the houses in. Let's make sure they got water. This bit doesn't. There we go. So that should put up our population, possibly enough, so we get to the next upgrade. Oh, I don't know actually. Probably won't. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get like. 400 people move in here. We'll see. Hopefully they do. We could do with some more diagonal houses as well because it's starting to does it's starting to look a bit too square. So I think we'll have some diagonal ones come along here at some point. And we have to move all this stuff though out of the way. It's fine. Do that. You see these houses upgraded now. It's great. Which means more population. Yay. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try and build down here now. Into this onto this coast bit here. Maybe like that. And then we'll try and make it so the roads are diagonal. We think that's gonna be pretty hard to do. It's gonna look ugly. Okay, maybe they can't be our diagonal. Maybe we could just have to go like this. Sort it, let's go like that. Because we can't really. Oh, I should have really terraformed this, it's a bit ugly. It's fine. Okay, let's get some houses in. Okay, my town's just appeared. It's, it's gone, it's just really foggy. <laughs> you just you can't see it, it's just really, really foggy for some reason. It's the weather thing. Um, I built some more houses. Um, we should be nearly at the goal. We are 70 people away. Um, we are going down though, <laughs> it keeps going up and down. It's at that point again where it's just stuck and it just won't go up anymore. Um, unless houses keep upgrading, people die and you know how it is. But yeah, they're all starting to upgrade now which is kind of nice. This house is just burning down. It's okay there because the firemen have arrived. Put it out! Firemen. Okay. So this is what my town looks like currently at the moment. Um, 
I'm gonna build. Let's have to build some more just to try and get this goddamn next level where we can start actually making it look nice. Okay, so if we get this down, that should be enough to get us to the next level. So we're gonna fill up the rest of this with housing. Um, that's the one issue though. The way that I do this housing here, it, it looks nice, but it, it, you get so many little people moving to your town. Like, if I filled this up with four by four the houses, um, this this town would be like six thousand people, easy. But I like to do it like this. It's just a little suburban area. I like to build this first, ready when we build the big city later on. Okay. Here we go. Because plus as well, like this is such a big area with loads of little people, like little people, little houses with few people in. Uh, it just it makes traffic a lot uh, better as well. It makes it not so messy with traffic. And we might have to put this road out more up here, and probably have another entrance point on this side. Is that now? I think I'll put an entrance ent entrance point here. Oh, there we go. We did it. So up to the next level. So let me just quickly delete this and I'll sort this road out that I just messed up. And then I'll show you. So we'll do that and then go down like that. There you go. Just means that it's not all focused here. People will go straight on and come out that way. Okay. Do we have more unique buildings? We do. So you can see here. It's actually not unique here. These might be. I oh know they're not. They're default. Okay. There's, there are more. But we've unlocked this. Now I'm going to have to restart the game because it glitches for some reason. I don't know why it does this, but it just does. Um, you can't access all this for some reason. There are loads more tabs that I can't see for some reason. So I'll quickly show you the ones that are here. And you see all these props I can lay down. Um, they are really good. Like this one's not so good. Um, this one's um, good because you've got all the industrial stuff, you've got flags, um, just bins, things like that, satellite dishes, pylons, uh, car park spaces. You can actually make it so these actually park cars on them which I'll show you later on and um, this one's a good one this is the park one I think so you can build all this stuff here all these things like I can build a port eventually and just plant all these down everywhere like in bigger ones like when I build a warehouses and industrial stuff I can make my own industrial areas there's so much you can do I've got all these these uh, flatbed trucks things for, the, for lorries you can see uh, the flatbed one there and these cranes, which again I could put by the docks, which eventually we shall have, which I think would be so cool. These little cranes as well from like Fallout, uh, not Fallout, sorry, uh, armor. You got these down the coast for like Cherno and stuff, but yeah, just on the docks and things. Like I said, we can put our own industrials, so we can have all these like iron deposits and salt and stuff. Oh, didn't want to actually build that. Okay, build that. Restrooms, um, tables, caravans. Like I said, we can make a caravan park. Which is pretty cool. We've got all this. We've got fences so we can fence things off. Like I said, there's just so much more we can build now with this. We've got pallets, make around parks, just chairs, you know, benches, things like that. And these are all things as well. They don't all have pictures, so they, they can be quite annoying to find some things. God, that place car's annoying. But yeah, you've got these one, double one here. You've got this big restroom thing. So we're going to have a lot of fun with this. I love building. All different things, all these stuff. You go some Winnebago's, um, just a hot dog stand. <laughs> There's so much stuff. McDonald's sign, yeah, you got loads of them around. Cars, Ronald McDonald, the FedEx truck that I mentioned earlier. Let's just say fed up. Okay, uh, got another truck, ping pong table, flowers, loads of stuff we can build. Full of trucks, just signs you can put in parks. Again, more car park spaces. And if you actually, like I said, we can't see it now, but if we have parks, we have even more stuff. Um, these signs are good. And if you go right to the end here, you actually get advert, like billboards or signs, like these, which you can put around places, which I, I, I like to do because it's more realistic. You know, but there's always adverts when you go on a road, so it's nice to have these around. You see, you've got big ones here, it's nice. A new housing area, we put that right here. Oh look, new houses, come come live here. Okay, so I th well, like I said, I want to restart the game because this it does this for some reason. So I think I'll just end this video here anyway. Hopefully it's at a good time, otherwise I'll have to cut this bit out. But if you are liking this, let me know because I would love to do more of this. If this just gets really bad, like 
hate and stuff like I did actually record a series on this ages ago I recorded about 11 parts of this but I never uploaded it because I thought people aren't going to watch it people aren't going to like it but that was back when I used to really care but now I just think I'll just upload what I want to play. If I'm, if I'm enjoying a game, I'll upload it. If people want to watch, people can watch. If not, they don't have to. I don't force you to watch my videos, you know. So, let me know if you want me to do more. Just say more in the comments. Leave a like. Likes usually determine whether I do series or not. Um, I remember my Kerbal Space Program. I was only getting 10 likes, so I stopped it. If this only gets 10 likes, I'll stop it. You know, just be sure to like the video. It's very easy to do. It just lets me know. Um, if not, dislike it. You know, if you don't want me to do any more, dislike it, and you know that lets me know as well. But yeah, I'd like to. We can build a big city. This is just the start of it. Like I said, we've got loads more we can do. Beautification mod. We can put our parks in and stuff. Fill out all this green grass. We can put stuff on and things like that. That'd be really nice. But yeah, let me know. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.